And here's what I learned uh, today while following this story for you. The a uh, ATM of uh, service man is the victim. His name is Nick Parada. I spoke to his boss this afternoon. Cord Financial quietly runs an ATM repair service out of that little Suite 21 over there. And witnesses tell me they get cash deliveries to restock those ATM machines almost every day. Today, a guy was sitting right on this bench waiting to steal that cash. People working at Mangonia Business Park notice a guy sitting on his bench at 8.30 this morning wearing all black with a black hoodie covering his face. Black, black like you, and hoodie uh -huh. and dark glasses. Had a hoodie on? Yeah. Within an hour, a horrified witness says she watched the same guy attack her cash-carrying neighbor with a sledgehammer. The assailant came running because I saw this black flash of a person running in front of our office windows and had the sledgehammer and just started wailing on him on his back. She doesn't want to show her face because she's afraid, but one of the people who saw the attack says an ATM repairman who works in Suite 21 was coming out of his office with a small bag, a bag the attacker wanted. I saw the gentleman run up to the guy in the suite next to me and start hitting him in the head with a sledgehammer trying to steal a bag he was holding on to. You can see a witness showing detectives how the attacker hit the ATM repairman repeatedly over the head. The assailant was just like hitting him over and over again uh, with a sledgehammer. She says the attacker must have known a Loomis armored truck arrived here every day dropping off cash. She says a detective says the robber got away with $128,000. It was really scary. Um, never seen anything like that in my life. And Nick Parada's boss tell me, tells me that he remains in the hospital tonight with a broken orbital bone, a broken nose, plus those big gashes in his forehead and the back of his skull. As far as the robbers, they got away. And law enforcement sources tell me that this situation is not connected to a crime scene where they were looking for an attempted burglary suspect around the same time in West Palm Beach today. No connection. Live in Manganya Park, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News. Terry.